What's up everybody? I'm Chris, this is 4K Motoring, and today we're gonna talk about how we ended up getting our front brakes fixed on this 2022 Ducati Multistrada V4S. Let's roll the intro and get to it. As some of you may remember, I've been having issues since I bought this 2022 Multistrada with sponginess in the front brake lever. This has been quite concerning and at some points felt almost unsafe with the lever having to come back to the handlebars and having a different experience every time. Now, after about a year riding and about 10,000 miles really is what I put onto it in this time frame, I noticed that pretty consistently I would have to bleed the brakes, at least the front brakes, about once a month. And I did narrow it down to the front brakes. I didn't narrow it down to exactly which bleeder screw made the most difference, but I knew it was somewhere in the front and at least once a month, I'd have to bleed these brakes in order to maintain somewhat decent braking feel out of this front lever. And I'll post the video up above. I made a video about this that a lot of you guys watched and responded to chronicling exactly what was going on. The brake lever, very typically for air and lines would build, it would squish back almost all the way to the lever and then on repeat pumps, it would build pressure and not come back so far. Very classically, air in the lines. There was never any leaking from the system anywhere that I saw. So it was something that was confusing me just a little bit. I ended up going to my dealership, Ducati of Greensboro, and had a conversation with the technician exactly about what I was seeing. And what we found was behind this dust cover on the front brake master cylinder, there was a tear in the diaphragm that was letting fluid and air across and basically letting air in to the actual plunger. And that's the issue I was getting. That's how the air was getting in the lines and that's what I was feeling directly from this front brake lever was that air in there. We ended up getting a warranty replacement from Ducati. They ended up shipping it in. It took about a week to get it in. We ended up getting it put on and I've had no issues since. This thing is acting like it's supposed to whether I had the stock levers or these ASVs on, and overall, much better experience. Now, as I mentioned, I love the profile of these ASV levers. I love they're a little flat over on the front, and I love the texture. That is just a personal thing for me. But as far as the actual plunger itself, I measured, and it is exactly the same diameter. It is the same plunger that goes in there. It causes no difference to the actual brakes itself. This occurred since I bought the bike with the Ducati levers, this is a defect, I guess, from the manufacturer, from the factory, but we have it taken care of now and we have a very consistent feel. So if you guys remember last time, I was sitting this ruler right at this edge here, that way we could repeat it. And if you remember how far back it was coming, we were getting the lever almost that one inch mark. So right now we're starting leading edge at about four inches. And when we pull it back, we're getting to about two and a half. So about an inch and a half of travel, but it is consistent. It does not change pull to pull. That first pull does not get it to come back any further. And that is what we wanted out of this, a lock system that's not letting any air into it. So nothing too crazy. That was a pretty simple fix for this 2022 Multistrada. I know a lot of you guys have asked me because you're having similar issues what the fix was and overall it was a diaphragm tear in the front of the front master cylinder that was it that took care of everything i've had no other issues i know it's a pretty complicated brake system certainly there is potential for error somewhere else in the system i did not have any on this bike it was just that front master with a small tear and a rubber diaphragm that has been taken care of and we are good to go if any of you guys are having other brake issues for this bike, I would love to hear about it. I know everybody down in the comments would love to hear about it too. So let me know what issues you're having. And if you found a fix, let me know that as well. That'll be a great resource for everybody watching this video. So like always, let me know if you have any questions. This is a pretty easy fix for the 22 Multistrada and now it's riding exactly like I want it to. Overall, I think we have this bike pretty well set the way we want it. There's not a whole lot else I want to do to this bike or think needs to be done to this bike. So we're very much enjoying riding it over 13,000 miles on it now. It's been awesome. Thank you guys for watching 4K Motoring. I'm Chris. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. We'll be back with you soon.